With Microsoft's new AI designer tool, you can create stunning designs like a pro, even if you are not a professional designer. For now, this tool can be used for free. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I publish new videos. In this video, we will see the review and tutorial of the new design tool, Designer from Microsoft. To get started with Microsoft Designer, head to the website designer.microsoft.com. Once you log in on this website, click on the button that says Start Designing. This now takes us on the start page for Microsoft Designer. The best thing is that you don't have to start from scratch. It says over here on the left hand side to describe the design that you'd like to create. So, here you can type in some text and then the AI will generate a design based on that text. If you are unable to come up with your own idea, here on the right side you can see some sample designs and if you hover over these, you can see the text that is used to create these designs. You can click to try one of these or type your own description. Here, I have selected a motion Instagram story about my day trip in LA. And, I will hit generate. You can also add more details or the description of the image that you would like to have in your design, if needed. It will take a while to generate the design. After a while, it generates for us some great designs to choose from. Not one or two, but 15 designs. If you want to check one of the designs in detail, click on the zoom icon here and it will show the larger version of the design. If you don't like any of these click on generate and it will show 15 more designs. I will select one that I liked and hit customize design. Here, it will take us into the main designer interface where we can modify this design. Here, we can change things like the text, the colors, the media. At the right hand side, we can see the various design suggestions by Copilot. You may choose one of these designs if you want. Or, if you are okay with the current design, click on the X right up here to close the design suggestions. I can add any text I want by clicking on the text option here. I can add a basic text or any of the templates given here. And, I can just drag this text wherever I want and do the modifications as desired. When you select the text, you can see the text options at the top where you can change the font type, font color, and other things. I will just edit the text to read awesome destinations. And I will just change the font style from one of the templates here. You can rotate the text with the handle here. You can also match the font, colors, and design styles that match your brand. In the visuals option here, you can add media to your design. We can generate an image using the AI image generator by just typing the prompt here. I will type skyscraper and you can see it gives various suggestions to complete the prompt. After putting the prompt, I will click this arrow to generate my image. It will take a while to generate the image. Designer generates the AI image with the DALI 2 AI image generator. As it creates the image, let us play around with the text options and we'll also see the resizing option. As you click on the drop down here next to the name of the project, you can see the resize option. We can resize the design to whichever we need. I'll select the square option here and you can see it will show you the preview of the new size and you can then hit resize and replace. And the designer automatically arranges all the elements to the new size. So, here we see the AI image is generated. These look very good. We can use these in our design if we want. I will click on one and it will get added to the design. You can see that the copilot again gives me suggestions to choose from. Here on the left you can find options to edit the image if you want. And as you right click on the image you can see other options as well. You can also set the image as your background image for the design. I'll remove the box here, and you can see a new design is created. If you want to use multiple images here, you can go with the suggestions from the copilot. And again, I get a different design. Once you are done with the design, you can click download to image in the different formats available here. You can also ask the AI for captions and hashtags for your posts. For that you'll need to connect your social media accounts. 
And you can also add photos, graphics, and videos from the huge assets library which is available here. You can search for the assets here. You can also start the new design from a blank canvas. Select the desired size of the post and choose the various templates available here. And then follow the same process as we did earlier. Designer also has a one-click background removal tool. Just click on the image and it will show up the option here to remove the background. Here you are. In a matter of seconds, it will remove the background from the image. You can also create videos with Designer. I will add a video background to this project and adjust the design elements suitably. Here it is. My video is ready. If your design is a video, you can download the design as an MP4 video. Overall, Designer has great design tools which utilizes the power of AI and is a very good free alternative to Canva. Moreover, it keeps on adding new features and improvements very frequently. With the integration of AI, designing is a breeze with Microsoft Designer. If you liked the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.